Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, I'm going to talk about why I actually bought this, my brand new Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo. So a few days ago, I took delivery of this car. If you want to see that video, it will be linked in the description box down below. But today, we are talking about why I bought this car and also why I bought my previous other vehicles because in the past one and a half year, I've actually taken delivery of three brand new EVs, which is kind of extreme even for being this channel. But there is some reasoning and explanation behind all of these purchases. So I want to start off with my Audi e-tron 55 that I took delivery of in September of 2020. So about one and a half years ago, I ordered that car back in May of that same year. So at the time, me and my girlfriend were living together and we were together. We're broken up now, but that was meant to be our family vehicle to replace our Audi A4 at the time. So for the same monthly cost with the insurance, with the car payment, with toll roads and fuel or electricity, the Audi e-tron 55 would cost the same as the Audi A4 1.4 TFSI. So it's kind of a no brainer. Why wouldn't you get a bigger, more luxurious, more spacious and nicer vehicle for the same monthly cost? So that's why we bought that car. But until the time we took delivery of it in September, we broke up and well, it was up to me to either, you know, cancel the order and pay like a cancel fee, which is like 10% of the purchasing price or take delivery of the car. And I was kind of unsure at the time if I wanted to have an EV, you know, traveling for work and also on this channel. But that seemed to be one of the best decisions I've made here because after that I converted the channel to only feature EVs. And since we've been a pure EV channel here, yeah. So that was pre pretty awesome and it worked out very nice and that was a very nice car that I expected. It was white on the exterior with the black optics package and a light colored interior with the upgraded Napa, Bang & Olufsen, a pretty, pretty car that I expect myself. A few compromises, you know, I didn't have the panel roof and stuff like that because I didn't want it to be too expensive. But yeah, that was a very, very nice car. And then fast forward to August of 2021. I decided to sell that car for a few reasons because I've been test driving uh, a few Audi e-tron GTs and I really fell in love with that car and I was looking you know at getting one and I found one in Germany which I could get for a good price it was Zucker gray this kind of almost looks like white or it's white in daytime and gray in nighttime again with the black optics package you know there's a theme here because this car is also white with black details on the exterior. I've had quite a few, few white cars now in the past few years. So I just fell in love with that car and I did a poll here on the channel where I asked you guys, do you want me to get a Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo or do you want me to get an Audi e-tron GT? The overwhelming majority of you guys wanted me to get a Cross Turismo. And I also wanted a Cross Turismo, but I also wanted an Audi e-tron GT. And I'm just one person, I'm not rich or anything. I do work hard and I do, you know, earn a decent uh, wage uh, for a living. So I'm able to buy pretty much the car I want within, well, reason. I'm, I can't spend, you know, several hundred thousands of euros, but I could spend a fair amount on a car, but I can't buy two expensive cars. That would just be too insane. So I did a poll and you guys wanted me to buy the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo. So I went and ordered a Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo in August of last year. So I'm gonna link that video in the description box down below also if you wanna check that out. But the same day, I also ordered an Audi e-tron GT. I did that purchase via Marcus Biel and they imported that car from Germany because the wait list on this or the wait, you know, I had to build it and the wait to build it from factory and have it delivered was like something like three to four to five months and it took actually five months before I took delivery of this car. I ordered it in August and took the delivery of it just a few days ago. Five months wait. So in the meantime, my plan was to, well, if I can, you know, sell my e-tron 55 and I have to wait five months for this, I can have an e-tron GT in the meantime. So that's what I did. We got it from Germany, took about 10 days or something like that and I had that car. So the plan was to, well, I, I got a fair price because I bought it in Germany and because we don't have any import taxes, not even VAT on electric cars here in Norway, I was actually able to get that at a very good price because when you export a car from Germany, you actually get the VAT back. It's like 19%. So you're buying a car with 19% discount. 
And then, well, yeah, I got it for a fair price. But I put it up for sale uh, just like a month after I bought it. And the market for used cars here in Norway has been terrible. I know around the world, the market is crazy, like in the UK and also in, in North America, where, you know, cars are going used above their uh, new listing price. Here in Norway, that is not the case, at least for not, you know, Audi e-tron GTs. So what I ended up doing is that I sold it to Marcus Biel at a loss. I lost, yeah, quite a fair amount of money on it, but I just wanted to get rid of that car before I took delivery of this car. So that e-tron GT is one of the nicest cars I've ever owned. And when I actually got it, I kind of got cold feet because I was like, hmm, do I really want the Cross Turismo? Because I have to be honest, guys, this is a spectacular car. Is really cool, but in my opinion, it's not as special as the Audi e-tron GT. The Audi e-tron GT is just a stunning car to look at on the exterior, and also there aren't as many e-tron GTs as Taycans and Taycan Cross Turismos here in the area where I live in Oslo. So at one point in time, I really want to get an Audi e-tron GT again. I know it sounds kind of crazy, just taking delivery of this, but. I really want an Audi e-tron, probably an RS e-tron GT, but well, now it's time for this car. So fast forward to taking delivery of this car. I was like on the fence. If I wasn't able to sell my e-tron GT, would I just keep my e-tron GT and not take delivery of this again? Again, there's like a cancellation fee and it being around 10% of the price, maybe I, I would have been able to, you know, negotiate that and haggle that down, but it would still be like more than 10,000 euros, which is just insane. So yeah, I decided to take delivery of this car because, you know, this being a station wagon, it's more practical, that ground clearance. And also I wanted a Porsche. I've had many Audis, like in the past few years, I've had like three or four Audis. I've had a lot of Volvos, I've had BMWs. Have I had a Mercedes? I've never had a Mercedes, but I wanted a Porsche. It's like kind of the natural progression to that next level of car. And I really like this car to drive. It's awesome in the interior in this car. Yeah, it really is something special. I expect it with the upgraded leather. It's just a beautiful car that's so solidly built. And I, over Christmas, I had an Al, uh, Mercedes EQS press car, which is a stunningly beautiful luxury car. But it does not have the same sense of solidity of this car. This car is just on another level, fit and finish, and the sense of solidity of this Taycan Cross Turismo is just second to none. I think this is probably the nicest interior quality wise next to something like a Bentley. It really is awesome. It's kind of simple on the design, but it's just a very stunning car. And also on the exterior, it's a beautiful car. So I don't regret taking delivery of this car. It is a beautiful car. And again, it's more practical than my Audi e-tron GT. So that's the reason why I bought this because, well, you guys voted for it and I really wanted to buy a car and make content on a car that you guys would appreciate that you guys would watch because like I could buy, I had a few other cars like the uh, e-tron uh, e S. Uh, not a lot of people voted for that car. That's also a car I want to have sometime in the future. Maybe I'll get it when the e-tron gets a facelift later this year, next year. But it would be kind of pointless for me to buy a car that you people wouldn't watch, like which wouldn't get views. Um, yeah, so I wanted to get this car because you wanted to see it. And also there aren't a lot of YouTubers do, that actually have a, a Taycan. I mean, there's another, Shmi ha, had a Taycan Turbo S. I think he sold it. And also removed before racing, just took a delivery of his Taycan Cross Turismo. But I think he ordered his car after me. So on the, in the YouTube space, there aren't a lot of people who actually have this car. So that's why I wanted to experience it. I wanted to share with you guys and I thought it would be cool being one of the few people on YouTube actually buying and sharing the experience of having this car. So in the future, well, I had surgery just a few weeks ago. So in the next few weeks, I won't be able to upload more than two to three videos per week. And the content, the quality will actually not be as high as it's been because I'm not able to, well, film and produce the same videos I was able to do before surgery. But once I get better, I want to take this car out on road trips. We're going to road trip Norway. I want to road trip Europe. And one thing I really want to do in maybe June or July is take the ferry from Denmark to Iceland and go round trip on Iceland with this Taycan Cross Race. I think that would be really, really cool. I don't think anybody has done that in an EV. I don't even know if it's possible, 
but that's what I want to do. So let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Do you want me to take the ferry to Iceland and drive around Iceland in this Tycon Cross Turismo in the summer? So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.